Good evening, I'm Karen Larson, and here are your trending stories from Two Works for You. South Tulsa students and teachers will be protected from storms this spring. A ribbon cutting ceremony celebrated the completion of new classrooms at McClure Elementary School. That's near 61st and South Peoria. 13 McClure classrooms now function as safe rooms. They started using them this week. Bonds passed by voters in 2015 paid for the project. Federal employees can turn to the Tulsa Federal Credit Union for help during the shutdown. The credit union says the unpaid workers simply have to come in to ask. A few ways they will help are refunding, courtesy pay and overdraft fees, giving short term loans and allowing people to skip a loan payment. An Oklahoma based disposal company is ordered to pay employees thousands of dollars in back wages. The Oklahoman reports that the Department of Labor is making backyard energy services pay more than $250,000. The company is accused of violating overtime and child labor laws for hiring a teenager to operate a track hoe. We continue to track the change over to rain to snow across northeast Oklahoma. Again, it will be very wet and it will be light and no major travel problems anticipated as air temperatures will remain above freezing during the event. And it will quickly move east. Drizzle will remain for your Saturday. Chilly conditions for the weekend, 30s to lower 40s, warming up though by the end of next week. Karen? All right, thank you, Mike, and thank you for turning to us for news and weather information that you need. You'll find more on our mobile app and website, kgrh.com, and we'll bring you another update here after 9 tonight.